Like... What the fuck is up? Welcome to Couples Come Dine With Me. Daddy, chill. I'm having a really rough day. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a haircut today. <laughs> we don't want to talk about it. Don't talk about that. I cried. And I was shouting. Screamed. I screamed for about two hours. Anyway, that's why I've got the hat on. It's my 21st birthday in five days. Seagulls are laughing at you. Shut your fucking mouth! This is episode number two. So mm -hmm. the first one's on her channel. You can watch that. You've got to watch it, really. But obviously, say the, the letter last. That's yeah. what I say. Uh, no. Cut the long story short. Basically, whoever wins, wins £50. And you decide on Instagram after this is up. So we will put a story up on both of our accounts. Saying like who, who, who did you like better? Who? So you've got to watch them both. Oh, I'm excited to find out. Starters. Mm. A beautiful honey glazed brie. Crisp to give it that extra crunch. Serve with, fre serve with fresh bloom bread. I think I have a shutter. That's a list From the heart of Wagamamas. We bring you a flavourful curry dish. I love a katsu curry, my favourite dish um, ever. When you thought it couldn't get any better than this, a discontinued... <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> ah, you said that was so... <laughs> you said that was so much flow! He said discontinued... Dis deconstructed! <laughs> I'm crying. Deconstructed cheesecake. Wine soaked strawberries and fluffy cheesecake. No, you're not doing that. I hate wine. Like, I hate it. Like, look, look, my nose is being sick. <laughs> Your nose just dribbled. You fucking vile critic. What the fuck? How are you going to make cheesecake? Do you know how long. Do you know how long cheesecake takes? Do you know how long that has to stay in the fucking fridge? Do you know? No, I don't know. Oh my god, it takes hours. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Deconstructed, it's not properly formed. Then what the fuck is it? Oh, fucking bloody biscuit! First up, plate. Boom, shakalaka, boom, boom. Good job with this starter. It's very quick. So I don't have to fuck around. But I don't want to fuck up. Sorry, the arrangements of the break was just too good. Oh shit, I've been squishing the cheese. I want to give her too much because you don't want to get her full. She gets full easily. Clean up this. Ooh. Honey, any honey. We haven't got any like fancy honey, but this is good enough. I'll do a light bit because with the torch, it kind of blows it off a little bit. Don't do this at home, kids, without a parent. If you're 18 plus, you can do this. First time caramelising honey. Oh. 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 Fuck it, we'll just use all the honey. You excited Isabella? No. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Oh my god, that just caught on fire. Alright then. This is a starter. You know, you've got caramelized honey, you've got the sourdough bread, mm. you've got a lovely girlfriend here. You just fart? Nope. How's it smell? It smells pretty good. That's what we like to see. Out of 10. Mm. Let me eat it with, with the update and I'll see if it's better. That I would rate a six and a half. Oh, no. It just tasted like regular brie and it was cold. So let's hope this has changed. You are on a mad, you know, you're- for you. She thinks you're stuck mad from ratatouille. I have decided we are making cheesecake, just not with the wine, which is kind of weird because girls love wine and strawberries, quite seductive, what but might be a sexy dessert. You were going to put the strawberries in the wine. Yeah, to macerate, that's what people do. Ew. Well, good luck going to any bougie restaurant. You'll <laughs> Go to KFC, you'll like it. What do you have? Don't go, don't go. Because I'm a great host, I went to get more ingredients, but not only that, I got some snacks for Isabella for while she's waiting. So I got one lollipop. I got two lollipop, 
I got three lollipops. Ah! Strawberry my face! Four lollipops. What? A kind oh. bueno, white. And that's it. Thank you. Cool. Do the double cream cheese. We got, I think I need icing sugar and normal sugar. Cool. I think I've got all the ingredients. If you guys really want to know how this is made, uh, just DM me on Instagram or something and I'll give you the recipes and shit. Like, I love cooking. I literally cook nearly every meal for Isabella. Um, not slag on rough, obviously. I just love cooking, so yeah. Strawberries can wait, I guess. Everything, we need lemon. Oh, I'm going to the Shrek stand. Don't play around with knives. Unless you're a badass like me. Killing me, fucking hell. Cool, so let's, that's our main one. It smells gorgeous. This is the cream, so we're gonna fold this in, put this in, make it all the sides clean. Just fold it, right? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That is funny. Basically, what you do, you get three tablespoons of cast sugar, put it in a frying pan, kind of like, um, Heat it up with that, don't move it until it's like caramel, and then you put four boxes of butter, turn it into caramel, you put the digesters on there, and boom, you've got your base. One, two, three. See, I don't see any chicken cooking, <laughs> cheese. You just fart. <laughs> my dick. It was Yo, you just farted on my dick! I've got all the crumbs, all the biscuits done. I've got the butter there, but the butter on the butter dog. Look at that, 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 look at that. Oh my god, am I gonna make caramel for the first time in my fucking life? Why, why am I getting so horny about that? What the hell? I'm about to make caramel. I'm about to make caramel. Oh my god, this is, this is looking great. Oh my god. In the butter. This is looking scrumdily umptious. Cool. Cool. Right. I am fucking terrified. That's all. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've got. Basically, I'm making gas of curry like myself, so I don't have a thousand miles, blah, blah, blah. I'm making a 300ml stock chicken. Not for vegans or veggies, this isn't, because it's, it's chicken. Ginger, whole onion, two cloves of garlic, corn flour, vegetable oil, plain flour, panko crumbs, egg. That's all for like seasoning and shit. I've got rice. I just don't know how to dice an onion, like properly, like finely, you know? I don't know how to finely dice an onion or dice any of this shit. Okay. I just want to bore you guys. I try to prep it and clear up so you don't get fucking bored. But I'm just realizing I'm just sitting here cutting onion. Like, that must be so fucking boring. Why am I not crying? Why do the fumes make me want to cry? Weird. Because we're in a simulation. Everything's a fucking lie. The garlic, ginger, and the onions finally chopped. I'm going to slap them in. Yeah. I do put it on this one, that makes more sense. I've got all my herbs up here, it's my little herb rack. I've got turmeric and curry powder. Shut up! Okay, so I need to make some chicken stock. Oh, that smells kind of nice, I could drink that shit, you know? One teaspoon of turmeric. That's a bit of a fucking heat load, isn't it? That's in. Two tablespoons of mild curry. One, come out for fuck's sake. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's too high of the heat. Okay, all the chicken stock's in there now, which is great. Coconut milk, doesn't smell like shit. Tastes like shit though. Oh wow. Oh no, that. Oh shit, sawed myself twice. Uh, obviously be careful when you cook on chicken because it's raw, you will die. I'm trying to get two each for Isabella and I. 
I think that's the vibe. Cut this in half. And I've actually done a splendid job doing that. We're all thinking it. That looks like a that looks like a vagina. We've got our pieces of chicken here. We've got three, four lovely bits of chicken, which is great. It's actually turned out amazing. Um, so I'm gonna hold on. Shit, it's all going off. So I wish you get a bowl for the egg. Actually. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Flour, egg, crumb. Cool. Hello, guys. We're about to crumb some chicken. Um, egg. Egg in the bowl. No shell. Bob's your uncle. In the bin. You. Yes, the egg. All right now. Cool. It's getting a bit hot in here. Anybody else hot? Anybody else hot now? Lay it flat. I never knew you have to flour your chicken before you egg it, which is a very new one for me. Very new. Shake that off. Shake it off. And you crumb it. Okay. You crumb it. Spread it on the chicken and then use your other hand to flip it and squeeze it down. This is nice. Go me. Got your house, bro. Five bitches. Bam. No chill. Got your Eat a little bit here for you guys to see. And, and then, then we'll finish it off with some wreck, yeah? Yeah. 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 You saw my head's bad, that was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> no, you didn't. That was you. How? Because you had your finger. You wiped your ring on you. You were very underwhelmed. But you didn't give me the chance. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's sexy. Mmm. So guys, on to the ratings of the night. So on to starters. 
Um, obviously we had the honey glazed brie and was quite delicious, I'm not going to lie. However, wasn't that technical. So with that being said, I'm going to score him a 7 out of 10. On to the main. Now the main was impe impeccable if I'm honest. Um, really tasted like a wagamama. The rice was nice and cooked, it wasn't too overcooked, wasn't too undercooked, it wasn't mushy, which James can really... Um, get wrong with rice it tends to be quite mushy so very well done with him and then the sauce had all these flavors in my mouth it honestly was a sensation that i really enjoyed so with that being said oh and my chicken wasn't pink however his was so with that being said i am going to score the main a solid nine out of ten not a ten out of ten because i did find a hair in there on to dessert i absolutely loved it you know I've never had a deconstructed cheesecake and I think I like it more than a cheesecake and I definitely am going to be asking him to make it again because it really was yummy and if you're watching this, try it because the strawberries in the cream, in that cheesy cream, it's cheese and cheesecake cream, yeah it is, bloody lovely and then with the crunch of the biscuit, lovely stuff, I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10, could have been a 10 out of 10 but the biscuit was too hard for my opinion, you know, I don't want my feelings coming out. However, if he would have left it out of the fridge a bit longer, I would have liked it a bit more. Seven and nine and an eight. Thank you so much, James, for making me this lovely meal. And guys, make sure to watch my YouTube video if you want to see what I made, James, so you can see which person you think deserves to win. But thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. I hope you thank guys enjoyed the combine with me. Maybe me and you will do a couple's combine with me with another couple. Oh, yeah. Who knows? That could be good. So get them, that send it to them, tag them, put on your story, put whatever, and we'll, we'll do that. Anyway, love you lots, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>